Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from Run the Foot Market, and I have a new video for you guys today. It's a double upload, so if you guys haven't checked out the video this morning, it's an overall market watch. But I wanted to get a video out for you guys uh, this afternoon, slash nighttime for some of you talking about ones to watch. It's been something that a lot of you have been asking me about, and I'm going to try to deliver some information. Um, I'm going to do my best to give you guys my, my best analysis of it. Um, because right now it's it's obviously timely because once the watch is around the corner. If you don't know what once the watch is, by the way, um, guys watching the video, once the watch is a uh, live item group of players um, that change in value with an upgrade. So they, uh, yeah, I mean they they essentially guys they they are they are dynamic live updating cards that that go throughout the year. So. They're very cool. Um, EA releases two of them a year, so they release two sets of them um, every uh, every FIFA season. They've been doing that since FIFA 17. Uh, I don't know if they did it in FIFA 17. I think they might have only done one set during FIFA 17. No, I think they did both. So they did both in FIFA 17. So this way, uh, you know, when the transfers are going on, there's a double window for EA to release uh, two different live cards, and then they make more money. And then uh, we also get. Uh, different kinds of cards. So it's cool and it works both ways. Uh, they're happy because they make money off packs. They're going to throw them in packs. And then we are happy uh, as the consumer because we are getting, uh, obviously, new cards in a FIFA. So it's a win-win, man. It's a win-win for everybody. So today what I'm going to do is try to talk about the promo with you guys uh, because it's going to be in about two weeks from now, I think. It could be this Friday. I don't think it's this Friday. I think it's in two weeks. But I wanted to clear it up because I'm watching some prices of some cards go really, really high. And I want to talk about it with you guys today. So if you guys enjoy the video... Um, drop me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. Honestly, guys, right now, let me know in the comments down below who you guys want to see as the ones to watch. But right now, there's not many. Um, Naldo looks like the biggest transfer, and I guess maybe Pulisic might get one, but he's not even going till the summer, I think. So it's all confusing. So just to quickly intro the video, this was the FIFA 18 ones to watch winter. I want to correlate it with the winter. This is how they released it. So this was the winter from last year. They just dumped these cards into packs. Um, they this started on February 2nd. What makes Ones to Watch special? The Ones to Watch items dynamically upgrade and have an opportunity to increase in ratings throughout the season. If you have a Ones to Watch item in your club, its ratings will automatically match that of the player's last team of the week, man of the match. So last year they made a change uh, where now it used to be that only team of the weeks would impact Ones to Watches. Now everything outside of um, Europa League or Champions League man of the match affects the Ones to Watch. Basically, outside anything outside of that is, is fair game um, for Ones to Watch, which is really good. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be good. What is a live item? So they get they get upgraded. You guys know if you don't already, these cards get upgraded with Team of the Weeks. Um, and yeah, so that's really it. So I wanted to get on the video today and talk to you guys about um, something right now that's happening on the market and something that I'm a little scared of. Um, I know a lot of people that watch me. You, if you guys don't watch me. Well, if you do watch me, but you don't know about the full trading community, there are um, essentially people that um, have like trading services and stuff and people pay uh, these services, right? These people on Twitter or these different people to uh, give them investments or give them buys or walk them through the market, right? So I'm seeing a lot of people right now on Twitter tweeting out, buy discard once the watches, they're going to go higher. So we're sitting here about a month before once the watch and they are 30,000 coins. I will tell you guys this right now. I'm not liking what I see at all. Um, this is terrible. It's it's a sad. It's actually sad for the trading community. It's 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 disgusting, man. Right? Like these cards are already thirty thousand coins because people are investing for an SBC that doesn't come out for three weeks from now, um, where the SBC has what? What what is the requirement? Uh, you need a ones to watch player for the SBC. So people are 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 investing in this because they do release a summer one, but you need a ones to watch in general for these SBCs. It, it, realistically, guys, the fact that they're already 30,000 coins is insane because you're not even guaranteed that we're going to get this SBC. People are buying those off of speculation, simply speculation. Um, and on Friday, I think they're expecting once the watch come. I think it's going to be a record breaker promo. So when once the watch doesn't come, it's going to be very interesting to see the prices of these because what you guys got to understand, man, is like, like, like these cards, man, a week ago were you know like like two weeks ago man in christmas they're 15k right and i understand if people want to buy in them but the fact that right now they're 29k and the whole world is buying in makes me want to tell you guys to take a look if you have a ones to watch in your club if you if you bought a discard ones to watch during the promo to maybe take some money on it because this is getting ridiculous uh these cards are so high now 
I can understand why people want to invest in it, right? Because here's the deal. They, they, they're, guys, they're investing in the old ones, the watches, because they, they will fit the criteria of the potential SBC. First of all, we don't know that this SBC is coming, right? EA is all over the market this year. There's no freaking guarantees that this SBC is coming. Um, so how, how are we supposed to know that, first of all? Um, and second of all, you're, you're taking a big gamble, man. You're, you guys are everyone's bu you're buying in at such a high time um, on the market. So that's like scary to me. I think that for me definitely scares me. Um, and I just am not comfortable with telling a whole audience to go ahead and pick up these kind of cards. I just feel like it's a little, it's a little much, man. It's like, it's crazy, man. Cause that's, that's a big ass man to go ahead and do that. So I think you want to be careful with that. Um, other, like other than that, right? 83s and 84s are a little inflated right now. So I wouldn't go crazy with 83s and 84s. I would wait out for it a little bit. Um, let me show you guys last year uh what happened and we'll do a ones to watch prediction patrick my guy uh probably watching the video he, he's gonna hook us up he'll do his prediction and we'll add in anything that i feel like should get in the ones to watch right now is not looking hot but what i do want to show you guys is i want to take you guys to last year's ones to watch uh which is week three and i want to take you guys here and i want to show you guys um the cheapest ones to watch is and what happened to them so let's pull up kessie let's pull up let's pull up theo hernandez right so Theo Hernandez was what price before the SBC? So when the SBC actually came out, he came up to 39K. What I want you guys to see is that he was 20K at this time last year. 20K. So let these come down a little is what I would say. It feels like they're very overinvested. Now, this did go up because of the requirement. So I'm not saying that it can't go up. But what I will tell you guys is this. All right. It, they go up to about 40 for one day and most of the time they're like 35 to 39 all right so the fact that they are already the fact that these cards guys listen to me the fact that these cards boys are already at the price of 20 what they're 29k they're already 29k is a problem for me because that means that within three weeks due time because i don't think once the watch is this week that you're only going to be asking for another 10,000 coins in rise. And I'll tell you this. I've seen this movie a million times to the people watching this video. The amount of times that I watch EA, see what the whole, you guys can understand. They have a full economic, like they have a, they have a full team there um, looking at the market, looking at what people are doing. They're all going to see this. They all know that everyone's doing this and they all know that everyone's buying into this. So while I don't think they can really escape during I Once to Watch promo requiring a Once to Watch, I don't think they can escape that. I, I think it's I think it's out of I think it's out of question that they could always try to screw it up, maybe supply the market with extra ones to watches and things like that. So the way I would rock into this ones to watch promo, which is in a few weeks, um, what I would do is I would pick up I would start to look at anything like this, and this is something that I'm interested in. So like now those should get a ones to watch. Now those gonna be out of packs for like two weeks. If they do two weeks, maybe one week, but I think they might do two weeks this year. Uh, Naldo 86 rated, right? Like this is a car that you want to start to look at. You know, he's up for SBCs right now, but in the next few weeks when he gets low, he's going to be one of the headliners of the ones to watch and he's going to big SBC card. So he's going to go out of packs. So this to me is interesting because his goal card will be out of packs for 10 days. Not much I would do. The only thing I would consider doing for this upcoming ones to watch promo to the guys watching the video right now is I would definitely take a look. Um, I would take a look at 84s. For this promo, 80, probably 83s because 83s. There's usually four SBCs that come out for this promo, right? You have Untradeable Winter, Tradable Winter, which is the new set, and then they re-release Tradable Summer, Untradable Summer. So 83s to me, because there's a lot of 82s, there's a lot of 84s, there's a 180, 183. So this stuff is good to stock your club while it's low because it's still a K. Wouldn't go crazy. What I would say to you guys watching this video is be very careful with any of these cards right here. Um, just get out before there's any crazy panic. Where's the ones to watch? I'm a little worried about these cards because these cards specifically um, are going to go down in value because they're going to be packed in, in a tradable value. These are going to be supplied onto the market again. So you're going to want to be careful holding any of these ones to watch cards for a while longer because the closer we get to February, the more these cards are going to drop. Now, what I would say is because there's an image uh, from EA that everyone thinks, by the way, if you didn't see it on the second channel, this is it. I think it's a record breaker promo. Everyone thinks this is downgrades, upgrades, or ones to watch. I don't think it's either. We'll see on Friday. If it's not this on Friday, 
and there is panic selling on ones to watches, which I'm seeing a little bit. It looks like there is some panic selling on ones to watches. Take a look at some ones to watches because they should rebound quickly. I would assume because there's still going to be people are going to say, oh, wow, there's two weeks or three weeks, you know, until until we go again with ones to watches. So I would say that if they do rebound quickly, you should be taking a look at those. And other than that, I wouldn't be doing much besides starting to figure out who are the biggest transfers right now. And there aren't many. So hopefully we get a few more in the next few weeks so that they can headline the promo because right now it looks pretty dead. Um, and the fall ones to watch was pretty dead. I know we got some good players, but to be honest, the fall ones to watch was was not the hottest. So cheers to a uh, hopefully a good upcoming promo. Thank you guys for watching. I'm trying to get the content out, man. I know it's a Tuesday and it's a little slower on FIFA, but we're getting the we're getting this stuff moving. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the video soon. Peace out. Thank you.